There are a group of functions that we need to be able to find the domain of simply by looking at the function and knowing what the domain is. The first type of function is called a polynomial. A polynomial means that you have a sum or a difference of powers of x. So we see this, this example, f of x equals 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus 5x minus 3 would be what we consider a polynomial since the terms are either added or subtracted and they contain powers of x. To be able to find the domain of a polynomial, it turns out that the domain is simply all real numbers, meaning that you can pick any number that you choose and if you plug that number into the function, then you would get a good valid answer out. So in this particular problem, there's actually no work needed. You can simply state that the domain is equal in interval notation. The way to say all real numbers is to say negative infinity to positive infinity. Always use parentheses around infinity. It's an idea of your numbers go on and on and on, but you cannot actually include that number, meaning it would be improper to use brackets. Now, as a way to see why the domain is all real numbers, what I would like to do to justify this is to graph. So this is my justification. You don't need to necessarily do this, but I wanted to do this for your notes so that you can see. What we will do is we will go to our graphing calculator and in y equals, plug in the function that they've given us. If you have a function in y equals, simply clear it out, and then you can write the new function in. So it's 2x raised to the third, I have to arrow over to get me out of the power, minus 4x raised to the second, arrow over, plus 5x, minus 3. Now remember the work that we did having to do with a range of a function. You see that here the y-intercept is negative 3, so we would need to make sure that our range would include that negative 3. I would say if we try a standard window in this particular situation, that would be a good place to start. So I'm going to do zoom, and then I'm going to do option number 6, which is the standard zoom. If this is not correct, then I will at least be able to see my graph and tell how to correct my window. Okay, my window may not be great. Um, on this particular function, it looks like there are more x values than I really need. And so in this particular case, I could go to my window and let's say instead of going negative 10 to 10, let's do negative 5 to 5. And let's see if this gives us a better representation of what our graph looks like. I would say that's a little bit better. We have the y-intercept included in our graph. We also have the x-intercept, which is where the graph crosses the x-axis. And then it's indicated that the graph would continue on and on in both directions. So a basic graph or sketch of my graph would look something like this. Now, because I go on and on, basically this will go up and out forever. This will go down and out forever. And so that is the reason that my domain is negative infinity to positive infinity.